seven hours from Dar es Salaam, in the northeastern part of Tanzania, is the district of Pangani that is blessed with exquisite natural beauty. A hotspot of slave trade back in 18th century, Pangani is now a tourist delight with several of its historical monuments, reminding everyone of the strong Arabic influence that once existed as also the power of the German and British colonial rule at a later date. District Pangani is one of the poorest yet most resourceful district. You have plenty of reserve forests, you have plenty of water, you have plenty of mangroves. There is huge potential for beekeeping, for fishing and for livestock. Unfortunately, still 85% of the people are living less than a dollar a day. The situation of water is so bad that on an average, women folk spend three hours daily to fetch water from the nearest source. Moreover, while most schools have no water for drinking and sanitation purposes, they also lack basic facilities like toilets, electricity, and proper roofs over their buildings. Even where the roof exists, they are generally leaking and dripping at most times. The decimal situation is apparent from the fact that only three schools in the district have an electricity connection. After completing need assessment of 10 districts, Islamic Help started its work in the year 2012 in Pangani since it was found to be the poorest of all districts and one which needed immediate assistance. Initiating projects of livelihood, Islamic Help has also launched several projects of water sanitation and education through its dedicated team of 15 local as well as expert staff. To make a lasting impact in the lives of people in Pangani, Islamic Help is striving to make Pangani district as model of sustainable development to be replicated in other areas. Our projects are focusing on poverty alleviation, water and sanitation, education, orphan support and health. Please log in to www dot islamichelp.co.tz to support our project. <laughs>